if you get to know the Holy Ghost and you obey and serve him he will make you rich the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today Holy and you Ghost walk with him by God saying God words my name is Andrew Hemstraught. Thank you for joining the us. Is if this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. Right. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 18. Thou shalt remember the Lord thy God. Remember him? For it is he that gives thee power to get wealth now tonight I'm gonna be asking and answering two questions does he give power to get wealth and does he give it to you right well I'm here to help you with this so that you can walk with the living God who is God in the earth today the Holy Ghost in his way in his wealth thou shalt remember this this what this that it is God who gives you power to get wealth and a lot of people have heard the opposite of this they go to their church week after week after week and are indoctrinated with the opposite of this you've forgotten that it's the Lord your God who gives you power to get wealth I can't remember the last time I was in church that the preacher got up and told me that it's God who gives me power to get wealth most people have never really heard this never really heard this connected to the gospel they have some kind of gospel the gospel means good news they have some kind of good news that says that they're supposed to be poor there is no good news that says you're supposed to be poor that's bad news most preachers preach the opposite of the good news never forget that it is God who gives you power to get wealth now that's going to be bumping up into some things in you that's been put there not by God's gospel but by man's gospel some religious tradition that makes the Word of God ineffectual for you if you have that tradition in you that it's the gospel that makes you poor and you're supposed to be poor then this will have no place to grow that needs to be rooted out first I was at a church not too many weeks ago where the preacher literally got up and said and I quote God promises you nothing in this life except perfect peace in the life to come that's where you get all the things don't forget God promises you nothing in this life what Bible mr. preacher are you preaching out of Job 36 4 says if you obey and serve him you will spend your days in prosperity and your years in pleasures Isaiah chapter 1 verse 19 says if you're willing and obedient you will eat the good of the land meaning you will be the one eating the best and living in the best of the land if you're willing and obedient the problem is most people aren't willing and they're not obedient they're willing to be poor willing to be obedient to a sad gospel so sad well if you can hear these words you can go to where these words will take you listen it's the Holy Ghost talking I make my people rich he's rich he makes his people rich Holy Ghost God in the earth today makes his people rich 
oh you mean spiritually rich oh you mean you mean emotionally rich no and knock it off that's you uh, having some cop out to try to take the power out of these verses of scripture that are there listen that are there to make you rich the blessing of the lord makes you rich see there's power in every word of god to bring itself to pass and if your gospel or your preacher the one that you're joined up with doesn't go here then you can't go here there's power to make you rich i make my people rich if you get to know the holy ghost and you obey and serve him willingly and obediently he will make you rich that's the bible that's good news do you know him as one who gives you power to get wealth this shouldn't be so difficult and such a strange thing oh oh no do you know him it's one of the things he does he saves your soul he heals your body he makes you rich do you know him as one who gives you power to get wealth if you don't receive him and his words then you can't go there but if you do you can psalms 112 and verse 3 says wealth and riches shall be in his house whose house the righteous man's house say wealth and riches shall be in my house well let's read verse 1 praise ye the lord blessed is the man that fears the lord is he blessed or is he cursed he is blessed now he's going to talk about what that blessing is verse 2 his seed shall be mighty when he gets to heaven wait, wait. his seed shall be mighty upon the earth where are you upon the earth the generation of the upright shall be blessed say blessed now let's see if we know what a blessing is verse 3 wealth and riches shall be in his house blessed wealth and riches shall be in his house blessed wealth and riches shall be in his house his righteousness endures forever he said you'd be blessed on the earth you'll be blessed forever because your righteousness your right standing with god prosperity and wealth shall be say prosperity and wealth shall be but it happens on the inside first it happens to you and then for you say it happens to me and then for me the wealth and prosperity happens to you i happen to be wealthy and then it happens for me does this make sense and mainly these things take place through words spoken that's how god does everything and that's why you're being changed tonight these words are going into you and changing you from one thing to the next they're transforming you from being a poor christian to being a prosperous holy ghost person someone who knows the holy ghost and walks with the holy ghost as god near today you know him in a way that other people don't get used to it they won't like it but you should most of you have the opposite words built into you and part of my job is to speak words that not only destroy those things but establish something new jeremiah chapter 1 verse 10 i have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down and to destroy and to throw down and to build and to plant there is some destruction and destroying and rooting out that needs to take place before you can establish build and plant the new thou shalt remember the lord thy god for it is he that gives thee power to get wealth 
that he may establish well in order for him to establish wealth and prosperity in you listen wealth and prosperity in you wealth and prosperity in you in you and to you then he has to tear down and destroy some of those other things welcome i'm here to help you but i don't like being destroyed things being destroyed out of me well get used to it if you want the new then the old stuff has to be laid waste that he may establish his covenant which he swear now in order for him to establish those things that he swear there has to be words the things he swore oh, you're saying god swore i'm saying god said things that do things say god said things that do things and what are those things that he do that he said gives you power to get wealth that he may establish his words that he said or swear unto thy fathers look at those next words as it is this day oh no no that's just something that he did to abraham and isaac and jacob as it is this day it continues to this day that power to get wealth continues to this very day and it comes through his word and it will work for you say it will work for me he swear as it is this day this is how it is this day what day this day that you're in you are in this day are you not you're in this day who else is in this day holy ghost god in the earth today does god give power to get wealth today does he give power to get wealth or does he not as it is this day it is for me say this it is for me this day what is for you this power that god gives to get wealth this is your day well believe me or not join me or not but i'm going here say i'm going here here where deuteronomy 818 god giving me power to get wealth that he may establish his listen this is the establishment the holy ghost is god in the earth today and we walk with him by saying words this is the establishment part of walking with him is walking with him in this power that gets wealth did he say deuteronomy 8 18 what does deuteronomy 8 18 contain well deuteronomy 8 18 says god gives power to get wealth what would be in deuteronomy 8 18 god's power to get wealth well i'm part of the establishment i'm from the establishment i'm here to destroy the old and establish the new i hope you can hear it the new is in God's power to get wealth there is a grace to be rich it is in our gospel it's part of the good news some people refuse to hear it they're like ah I don't want to hear that Matthew 6 33 seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be taken from you wait no and all these things shall be added unto you what things all the things listen all the things that the gentiles seek for and search for and strive for will be added to you 
it's in the good news it's in the gospel this is what the world is seeking for you're walking around with it this power to get wealth and you refuse to live in it or share it with them shame on you being right with God another word for righteousness being right with God will make you rich oh, I don't like that part of the Bible you can hear the tearing sound taking place in most churches being right with God will make you rich wealth and riches shall be in your house it'll come to you it's listening to you it's looking for you it'll hunt you down Deuteronomy 818 remember remember the Lord your God the Lord my God the Holy Ghost he it is God he gives me power to get wealth if I know him and I'm established in righteousness with him he gives you his power to get wealth that he may establish his he says I am with you to prosper you oh you're not promised anything in this life it has become popular to piously reject the so-called prosperity gospel I hear it more and more now oh I've spent time searching my soul and I've rejected the prosperity gospel you've rejected the gospel well I reject your poverty gospel and I speak by the Holy Ghost I reject your poverty gospel there's no poverty in God you must come to believe that God gives me power to get wealth it is written you come to believe that God gives power to get wealth that he may establish his you become this this is who you become it is written destroys the works of the devil and the poverty gospel you know everybody's like, oh prosperity gospel prosper you no know, poverty gospel I reject the poverty gospel the word spoken changes you Deuteronomy 818 spoken changes you into what into the thing said God gives me power to get wealth that he may establish his this day in the earth are you here I've searched my soul and I have come to reject the poverty gospel I've met the Holy Ghost and I know that he is a God of abundance and prosperity he's literally the God that owns everything in the universe I've embraced his gospel words of Jesus here mark chapter 10 verse 29 and Jesus answered and said verily I say unto you there is no man that hath left house or brethren or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my sake and the Gospels say and the Gospels he shall receive an hundredfold now in this time that means now in this life houses more than one house say more than one house and brethren and sisters and mothers and children and lands with persecutions uh oh and in the world to come eternal life now in this time and in the world to come say now and are you not understanding this unfortunately the persecution comes from your brothers and sisters who don't receive this and don't believe this but I run with rich people God gives me and my partners power to get wealth I say this I believe this and I live this gospel it is God who gives power to get wealth and he 
gives it to you Holy Ghost I thank you that these people have heard your word this evening that it has spoken to them and they are changed life is changing things have begun happening on the inside poverty has run away and wealth has come to stay we worship you Holy Ghost in Jesus name amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me i give and it's given unto me good measure press down shaken together running over men give into my bosom with the same measure i have given it is measured back to me i worship you holy ghost you are a god of wealth and i walk with you in Jesus name amen the father is in heaven Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God